Welcome back, Bobcats. I'm sure it's no surprise that we were talk show hosts again this week. But we are switching it up and we have student interviews instead of trivia. So let's go see how that went. Who is your favorite president? Probably Abraham Lincoln. Why is that? Um, I think he was a great leader in a time where our country really needed one. Fair point, fair point. <laughs> um, George Washington. Why is it? Because I like his hair. That's reasonable. He had some good... I like yours. Obama. <laughs> Why is that? Because he's a fellow brother. If you were the president for a day, what would you do? You know, I'd probably just sit back and read all the classified information. I wouldn't really be able to do much, but... Just kind of soak up all the things I'm not supposed to know as a citizen. <laughs> you saved them for later? Yeah. Okay, so that's sweet, that's sweet, okay. Um, I think I'd like give people free food. I don't know. Not a single thing. Probably just look at the money, try to lower taxes. You mean all the money that we owe? Yeah. Do you know JFK's full name? Uh, John, no, John Fitzgerald Kennedy. No. Wait, John F. Kennedy? <laughs> what is what is the F? Um Franklin? Fitzgerald. Bro, uh, since when? <laughs> I was about to say Robert Downey Jr. Um, <laughs> um I do not. All I know is Kennedy. John Not even <laughs> John Kennedy, that's all I know. Bye. Well that was definitely something. Yeah, it was definitely something. Are you even good at softball? Well, I mean, Chase interviewed me, so... I mean, let's go see how that went. Yeah, I guess. What is up, Bobcats? I'm your host, Chase. And I'm Jacob. This week, we'll be interviewing two sports who've started recently, baseball and softball. Let's go talk to them. Hey, y'all, I'm with pitcher for Salina Bobcats Varsity Baseball, Evan Rice. And Evan, what is your expectations, or what are you, what are you looking forward to this season? I think... I think that we can make it really far mm -hmm. if we play together mm -hmm. and everybody locks in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. And you're a pitcher, so what is your go-to or your favorite pitch to do? I'd say my splitter. Your splitter? Mm -hmm. Yeah, splitters are nasty. Yes, sir. Well, thank you for the interview, man. Thank you, man. What a great combo we had with baseball, right? Yeah, what, what a great combo we had. But you think we can go have another one with softball? Heck yeah, I think we can. Let's, Let's go it. talk to them. Yeah. Welcome back, Bobcats. I'm with our very own CTV member, Paige Burton. Paige, outside of being the CTV, plays first base for Salina Girls Softball. And Paige, how have the scrimmages been so far this year? The scrimmages have been pretty well. We've been really coming together as a team, and we've been uh, adjusting to all of the differences that we have had to face this year. So mm -hmm. I think this season will go pretty well. Mm -hmm. I was told y'all have had barely, barely people leave last year. So how is the chemistry being that like you almost had the same team two years in a row? The chemistry is pretty good. We had two people leave and we also had two new people join. One's a freshman and one's a junior. But our chemistry has been pretty well this year. We've been really coming together as a team and just putting aside the age differences and putting aside what we've had to do last year and this year it's been pretty well. That's good, that's good. And Coach Z is his first year as a head coach for y'all. How do you feel about Coach Z as a coach? I think Coach G has done really well preparing us in the offseason. I mm -hmm. think that he has done really well conditioning us and lifting weights. He's made us all a lot stronger and faster. Mm -hmm. He's also made sure that he knows that, that we know that he's not going to put up with any crap this season. So we will be coming together whether we like it or not. So he's been do doing very well. Coach C is my algebra teacher, so if, could, could you ask him to raise my grade? Yeah, I'll do my bit. best. All right. <laughs> Thank you for the interview. Of course. Have a nice day. Hey, y'all, I'm with Kylie Mahady, uh, right fielder for Salina Girls uh, Softball Varsity. And Kylie, what do you think of the season so far with Coach C, since he's a first year coach? I think he's doing really good. Mm -hmm. He's definitely changed a lot of things from the beginning of the year, mm -hmm. and just a lot of changes, and they're good. So. That's good. That's good. Just hoping for the best this season. Mm -hmm. And so y'all have a lot of returning players from last year. How is the chemistry with the team? Uh, the chemistry is good. I mean, there's obviously like the senior groups, and then there's only one freshman and one so or one sophomore, and then the rest mm -hmm. are juniors. So, but we managed to get along really good. That's good. That's good. And uh, what do you? How do you think the season's just gonna go in general? Like, how do you, how do y'all think we're gonna do? Um. Well. Looking back from last year and like looking at this year, I think since the changes of our coaches and like how we're doing things differently, I think it's gonna go really good. That's good, that's good. Well, uh, thank you for the interview. Of course. 
Well, that's all we have for this week. Thank you for watching, and, and go, go Bobcats! Bobcats! That was a really good interview, Paige. <laughs> Thanks, Riley. Do you think Coach Z will raise Chase's math grade? I don't think Coach Z's gonna raise Chase's math grade. Have you ever been injured playing softball? Um, I hurt my back a little bit ago, but Tatum has scoliosis and her back's always hurt. Oh, we should go talk to her about that. Yeah, let's go. So yeah, basically my scoliosis, I've had it ever since, well I figured out, my doctor told me ever since fifth grade that I've had scoliosis. There was basically, I would be going either twice I think a year to Scottish Rite in um, Dallas to have my appointments and they would just check my degree and I'd be wearing my back brace and I wore my back brace all the way till my sophomore year of high school. Scoliosis affected me in um, athletics a little bit, like I would say, it didn't affect me. It's mainly like in locker rooms having to put it on, but that wasn't really a big deal because I knew I had a good support system from my team and all, and like they all really supported me through it. So I never felt really ashamed to have it. I just was really, I was proud of to be able to go through it, to be honest, and to finally get through it as my team helped me through it too. Tatum, it means a lot to our team and a lot to me just because Without her, like, our positivity would, like, we wouldn't have any positivity. Like, she is the most positive person, we, like, you will ever meet. And, like, she just brings that aspect to the team of where it's, like, we need that no matter if we feel like we're going to win or lose. She's always thinking that we have a chance to win. And she's just, like, a really great friend <laughs> to me, too. So, and she's done a lot of good things for me, so. I see myself hopefully still being able to pursue college athletics, too. Um, at the time, when I was younger, um, based on how big of a degree I did have, they were saying at first, when I at first learned, that um, there might be possibility of surgery, but me and my family, we never, we never gave up. We never even really took that as a consideration. There was mainly just push through it. We're going to do these stretches, do these things just to help my back to make sure that that never came to the point. So I'm, that's mainly my family and it was my support system through that. I see passion and hard work and integrity. Like, no matter what's going on, she's a person who never quits and never gives up on any kind of play. And you can really just see her love through the game and how she plays and how she practices every day. Uh, I would tell people that are struggling through the same thing of scoliosis. I mean, it's really, it may seem like a constant battle, and it will be a constant battle. It's just mental, is what's going to be. But that mentality that you're going to have is going to help you in so many other areas of life. Going through that really helped me know how to pursue and just drive towards whatever I wanted in life because you could easily just give up, but is giving up really going to be the option that you want to take in life or is it going to be, you, are you going to really drive towards something that you want? And I really wanted to be out of that race because I mean, I'm, I was just ready for it, but I'm just, what I would say is just never give up and just keep constantly driving towards that goal that you want in life. That's all we have for you this week. Go, Go Bobcats! Bobcats. I am mad.